Do you remember how if you ever used to find yourself like walking between somebody taking a picture and they're like niece or whatever on the Millennium Bridge and you, you walk between them and then you realize that you were walking between somebody taking a picture and their subject, you'd be like, oh my God, oh, I'm so terribly sorry. I didn't realize the art of photography was taking place. I'm so terribly sorry. <laughs> but now, cell phones, people are taking pictures fucking constantly, all the time. And so if you walked between somebody now and they were taking a picture and you're like, excuse me, you'd be like, I don't give a shit. And you'd push their niece into the river. <laughs> fucking taking a picture of her buck tooth ass. Anyway, nobody's gonna wanna see it. <laughs> I remember, like, when I was a little kid, like, if I was, like, I don't know, seven or whatever, and, you know, you go to blow out the candles on your birthday cake or whatever, and then your mom is like, oh, wait a second, I, I, I just remembered that uh, I own a camera, and uh, perhaps I'll get to capture this uh, on some celluloid. And then she'll, like, get it out of the drawer and set up the picture and, like, take the picture, and then the flash would, like, blow your hair off and start a fire, and then she'd put it back in the drawer, and then, like, maybe three weeks later, she'd remember that she'd taken the pictures, and then she would drive it out to the hut by the mall where the guy, like, lactated chemicals onto it or whatever, and then pick up the tweezers and, you know. And then maybe three weeks after that, she'd remember to go and pick it up. And then she'd get the pictures and bring them home. And by this time, so much time had elapsed that you totally fucking forgot what was in there. So you, as she opened the envelope to show you the pictures, you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna see? I know I'm going on a special journey back in time. What am I gonna see? And then she'd take out the pictures and you would learn that when you were blowing out the candles that your Uncle Kenneth had come up behind you and taken out his scrotum and put it on your shoulder and that was the picture. But too bad. That's, that was the picture that you had to use. It was the only one you had. You had to put it on your driver's license. Was. I miss those days. I miss that scrotum. Uh, so, so sex robots, right? Um, they're, they're coming, you know. They're, I, you, when, I, when I watch the news, when I watch the news and you see like a hard news, you know, half hour and they're like, eh, wars and drones and bombs and AIDS. And then they get to the end and they have the human interest story. And the guy's like, you know, so we went to Tokyo and there's a guy who lives in a skyscraper and he hasn't left his apartment in three years because he's been making whoopee <laughs> with a sex robot. How nuts is that? And then they cut to the guy and he's like, yeah, yeah, I've been fucking my robot and uh, yeah, no real need to leave. I love it and it's fun. And anyway, I hear about these people fucking sex robots and I think to myself, what fucking losers. <laughs> I'm better than them is what I think. And uh, here's the deal, I am not better than that. <laughs> I just hate new technology when it comes out. Like, when the iPad came out, I was like, who the fuck needs that? Like, I'm on my desktop. I need, like, a mid-level computation device to get me to my phone, which can do all the same shit. I mean, who needs it? Fuck it, I don't need that. But now, flash forward a few years, I have three iPads, okay? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, I'm definitely gonna be fucking a robot, like, probably pretty soon. <laughs> And so are you. And it won't even be weird. Everybody's gonna be fucking robots. Like some of your moms are gonna be fucking robots. <laughs> Not all of them, but like the ones who can like do emojis, they're gonna be fucking robots. <laughs>